Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be telling you a little bit about media, subject, and theme in art. So let's get started. What is art media anyway? A lot of times we think it might be social media or newspapers or news on TV, but in our case art media is a little bit different. Art media is the materials used to create an artwork. So a medium would be singular, media is plural. Um, one thing that's really important to note is that tools are not the same as materials. So for example, we wouldn't say a paintbrush is a medium because the paintbrush itself is a tool. It applies the paint to paper or canvas. Uh, same goes for a pencil. So we might say, oh, I made my artwork with a pencil, but the actual material or medium that is put on the paper is graphite, and the pencil is actually just the tool that holds the graphite for you. Now, what are some different types of art media? There's a whole bunch. There's so many different types of paint. We could have watercolor or acrylic or oil or gouache, which is like opaque watercolor or you could use tempera paint or latex paint, just like your regular old house paint, or enamel paint or spray paint or casing. There's all these crazy options for different types of paints that you can use. Um, and we would call things like this wet media. Dry media would be things like graphite or colored pencils, crayons, charcoal, chalk pastels, oil pastels markers, ink, um, and even paper. We've talked a lot about two-dimensional media, but what about three-dimensional media? What are some things we can sculpt with? Well, if we want to stay classical, we could sculpt with plaster or marble or stone or wood, or we could get a little more inventive and work with cardboard or metal or ice or sculpting with glass. Or maybe if you're going to the state fair, you might see some butter sculptures or snow sculptures. A lot of contemporary artists work with found objects, so things that they find around their environments and start making sculptures with those. You can sculpt by making origami out of folded paper, or you can make wax sculptures that can be melted away and have metal poured into them, or just enjoyed as is. So that's a really small example of different types of media in art. What about photography or video or installation art can include all kinds of things or maybe fibers you're using fabric or yarn to create your art with. Um, the sky's the limit. You can make anything into art. So that would be examples of art media. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the content of our art. So subject matter and theme. On a, just a glance, you might think that they're kind of the same thing, but they're slightly different. So we want to think about it kind of like books. I feel like the definitions are kind of the same thing. So when we talk about subject matter, think about what's the subject in a book, right? And it's the same thing for art. Subject matter would be the people, places, and things that one sees in an artwork. So just like I said, it's like genres of books. So if you go to the library, you might find fantasy or fiction and nonfiction and biographies or romance or action and adventure. So those are all different genres of books. Um, in art, we have our own genres. So when we're looking at an artwork, we ask ourselves, what do I see when I'm looking at this artwork? So one subject in art would be portraiture. So a portrait is a picture of a person. And that could be a self-portrait. Maybe it's a picture of yourself, or it could be a portrait of other people. A landscape would be pictures of land, obviously. You could have subsets like a cityscape or an oceanscape. A still life would be pictures of inanimate objects. My favorite is the Spanish phrase for still life is naturaleza muerta, 
which if we literally translate it back to English, stands for dead nature. And I really like that translation. Maybe I'm just kind of morbid, but that's something I'm into. <laughs> um, and then another type of subject matter would be abstract art. So there are two types of abstract art. There's objective and non-objective. So if we look at Pablo Picasso's picture here, uh, that would be an objective type of abstract art. He's still using a recognizable person, place, or thing, in this case, a crying woman. Um, whereas in non-objective abstract art, um, if we look at Helen Frankenthaler's painting here, She's not trying to reference anything, and she's just working purely with colors and shapes and marks as she's painting and creating a composition just from that. So those are a few varieties of subject matter in art. Clearly there's more than that, but those are kind of the big categories. So remember, a subject would be the people, places, or things that we see in an artwork. So what do I see when I look at this? Now when we get to a theme, the theme is a little heavier than the subject. So the theme is the topic or main idea behind the work of art. So themes are fundamental, they're often universal ideas, things that everybody understands like life, society, and human nature. So when you're looking at an artwork and you're trying to guess the theme, you want to ask yourself, what does it mean? So the subject, what am I looking at? The theme, what does it mean? So there are a lot of common themes in art, just like there are in literature. And I think a lot of the same themes are seen throughout literature and art together. They kind of overlap each other. So one really big theme in art is identity. So artists often create artwork to try and understand who they are as a person, or maybe how they fit into their culture or in with a certain group of people. Searching for identity is really important for everybody as we, you know, try to find out who we are. And so creating art about that can be very powerful. Another theme could be social issues. So obviously there are lots and lots and lots of social issues, um, but sometimes artists feel very strongly about a certain position and they want to create art to help the cause or even to just make a comment on things that are happening in society. So we can see stuff protesting war or for civil rights or for, you know, equal rights in the LGBT community. So there's all kinds of different social issues that we can see art created for. Another theme would be war and peace. So oftentimes a lot of um, themes in art happen to be a dichotomy. And that's a big fancy word for something having two sides. So war and peace, love and hate, life and death, those are all really big things, good and evil. Those are always huge themes in literature and also in art. So here we can see artists reacting to the emotions and the horrors of war and creating art to sort of help them understand those things. Um, like I said earlier, life and death, this one's pretty obvious since it has the titles right up at the top. Um, but artists often try to understand their mortality and to understand what life is for, sort of these big existential issues um, through their art. And that's something we also see a lot in literature. And a last theme that we'll talk about is emotions. So, you know, happiness and sadness, they're two sides of the coin, but you could also talk about all kinds of other emotions, lots more complicated emotions too. Um, so, those are a variety of big themes that we see in a lot of different art. And I thought it would be fun to show you one of my artworks and we could talk about subject and theme with it and even media. So what media do we see here? What did I make this art out of? That would be watercolor. Then let's talk about the subject. So what do I see when I look at this image? I see 
it's a self-portrait. It's me. Um, but there's also a big landscape in there. So it's kind of a combination of a portrait and a landscape. Now, the theme, I'll give you a hint. The title of this is Tar Pit. So what I'm trying to say is I'm kind of making a comment on the comparison between the extinction of the dinosaurs. You know, a lot of dinosaurs are stuck in those tar pits and they got preserved in them. And I was thinking that it was funny if I'd be smoking a cigar because, you know, your lungs get full of tar when you're smoking and that's really bad. So I was thinking about my health and thinking about uh, extinction, so to speak, whether it's with humanity or whether it's just my own mortality. Uh, and so, yeah, you know, life and death, that's one of those big themes, right? Destruction is also a big theme in my work. Um, yeah, so that would be a brief synopsis of media, subject, and theme. Thanks for watching.